other thing. We need to black socks back. <laughs> For God's sake. We've been jinxed since 74 cup final, I tell you. White socks. Okay. Thank you. Bill, join my Bill here from the Newcastle Food Bank, situated outside Nine Bar. Every home game, so make sure you pop along and donate to the food bank. Great cause. Uh, Bill, just tell me about yourself first off. Well, um, myself doesn't really matter, but we've been collecting here for nearly two years now, and in that time, we raised about probably the thick end of two hundred thousand pounds and more from associated situations and organisations like Tunaid. And that has made a huge difference to the people of this city. We're feeding a thousand people a week who can't get enough to eat for various reasons, mostly because of problems with their benefits or because they're on zero as contracts or because they're just ill or because they're just old or whatever, you know. And, uh, and without, without this, without these people, these marvellous people of this great city and this wonderful team stepping in to help, I don't want what happened to those people because certainly they've been out from the government and the council can't afford it. So I'd like to thank every single one of the Newcastle United fans. Every single one's been wonderful to us, we've heard. No bad word in two years of collecting here. And um, I think this is something that, that shows the unity of this city. And when we get football right on and off the pitch, it shows what an incredible force for good and a power in the world this team in this city can be. Doing a great job. I mean, you've even had, like, like you say, you had a big journalist pop along and, and donate things as well. So, you, you know, you're spreading the word and it's putting Newcastle on yourself and what you're doing a good light. Well, I think it's putting the people on the map and the people have always been wonderful. But uh, yeah, the media have been fantastic. That was Henry Winter. He's probably one of the most famous, apart from George Colkin, of course, who was, <laughs> who was helping as well. And Luke Edwards was here. All the media have helped. You lads have helped, you know. Um, the, 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 the council have helped, the football team have helped, the, you know, even the chairman has helped, you know, a lot, you know, stuff that, that isn't going to meet the newspapers, in fact, doesn't want it in the newspapers. Um, Raf has helped, the first team have helped, we get anonymous donations from the football team, you know, the people working at the football team have helped, the fans I can't speak highly enough of. I, I, I expected us to get a good result, I never expected the incredible way that we've, we've been able to replace the fact that two years ago, 50% of the food for the food bank was actually coming from London. Mm. We've been able to replace that. Now that, you know, that may be, all right, it's it's not great that we've got a food bank here. It's a badge of shame, really, in this society. We shouldn't have them. And one day, by God, we'll have a party when we don't have to have one. But the fact that these people have stepped in and sorted this out and, and they've done it with great faith and uh, and it's been it's been a fantastic experience to have something to do with it. I'm really honoured to be, to be associated with it. Um, and anybody who wants to come and help just come along and volunteer, you don't have to do much, you just have to stand here and hold a bucket, mm. you know, and uh, and know that 10 pence will buy a tin of beans and a five will feed the family for a week and bringing us food and biscuits and, and, and pasta and anything, soap, tampons, you know. We got so many tampons once <laughs> that uh, <laughs> we had to give some away to Leeds. Lads are phoning me up with saying, what do I get? I'm going, man, you've all been in the garage at three o'clock in the morning. Apparently they haven't <laughs> some of this lot, you know. You you young kids, I don't know what's going on, but uh, but uh, we, we've, we've had fantastic results from people who are stepping outside their comfort zone a little bit, collecting on the streets sometimes and thinking, oh, you know, what about these rough, tough football fans we've heard about? And then they're coming out universally and saying they're the nicest people they've ever met in their lives. So I'd like to thank the fans. The fans have been exemplary all the way through. Could never have believed it. I thought we'd have at least one person shouting at us and telling us off. No, nah, not one. So uh, I, I, I wouldn't have believed it myself. I'm sure people are watching this going, nah, Cobblers, you know, somebody must shout something, man. This is Newcastle. No, <laughs> we no, get it. No, I, you get, I, you, yeah, well, you get it. You know, the media gets it. You're always going to get different opinions in this club. You know, we don't know who's going to be playing right back or left back or centre forward or whatever. There's always opinions going. But with the food bank, the Newcastle United fans food bank, it's been universal support, and and I'm really, really proud of the people. Proud so of it the should support. be. It's a, a marvellous cause you're doing. And in this day and age, 2019, there shouldn't be this going on, should there? All right. Well, let's hope. And one, we'll have a gigantic big party when we don't have to have it. And then we'll keep it going though for community and sport and culture and history and exercise and aspirations and education for the people because they still need all of those things you know I think we should bring working men's clubs back myself but you know no, let I women in maybe you know <laughs> <laughs> and 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 you know there's still loads of things need to be done at a community level it's poor people out there and they're the same as anybody else they're entitled to a life and decency and um, you know what we do with food this is just an emergency we'll get this sorted but we'll, get, we'll carry on and, and carry on with the Newcastle United Foundation we hope and with the other community groups in the city and in the region brilliant stuff on the football side of things I'm guessing you're a long suffering Newcastle United fan well you know I've, I've been coming here since I was four so that was 47 years ago and uh, <laughs> so, yes, <sir. laughs> so yes yes you know but I mean I wouldn't have it any other way I couldn't imagine 
want to live in a different city or, or support a different football team. Mm. This is the greatest and most civilised city on earth and I can prove it. And this is the most romantic football team. And one day, by God, we will, we will climb out of the hole that we're in and we'll see the stars mm. and we'll show people what a concentrated display of power and love looks like. And we'll take care of the Barcelonas and the Tottenham Hotspurs. We'll sweep them aside one day. <laughs> Never forget that. Brilliant stuff. Love it, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Do. Cheers, mate.